the trip. We just had Chris talking about travel trailers under 5,000 pounds. And when you talk about Coleman, I mean, availability is the word that comes to mind right now. Because right. we are here in Indiana and we're getting the first look at all these amazing vehicles. And we're coming from the factory. Availability means you can get it now, not eight months from now. And this is a 2022 22. that you're going to see That's throughout right. this weekend, which is truly incredible because we have not just a few. We have tens of thousands of vehicles that are being, these are units that are being delivered to, to our stores over 185 right. locations. 185 locations. And if you are wanting, there's going to be so many shown that you go, oh, maybe we need something that's a little smaller, an entry level and under 5,000. Maybe we need a C-Class. Maybe I need to trade in and go up in one. I mean, whatever you want to do, you can call us. We love when you call us. And that's at 866-853-3510. We've got specialists standing by to answer any question you have. We've got the answers. I mean, here's a prime example. We're going to show you an incredible unit that just came out of the factory. And I mean, hours ago. And when you see this, and like, let's say you have a Class C sitting in the driveway. That's right. And you're like, honey, we need you. <laughs> Come here. Get in here. Ian's going to show you this unit, and you're going to just be blown away. And so you're going to want to trade in your Class C. That's and, right. You know, all of a sudden, it's like, what do we got to do? You call our specialist right now, or you text that question. We can get you a quote and come and pick it up just like you were saying it's that simple we want to make it easy and if you want to text us feel free to go to uh go to us at urvs at 4662 so you're in text urvs to 4662 and we can answer those questions if you don't have time to call if you have time to call you go to 866-853-3510 and they've got all the answers from financing to floor plans to maybe i want some light finish walls i'm telling you the way they've brightened up everything for 2022, y'all, I'm ready to make the move. And I'll tell you something, Trish, it's almost like I need a drum roll for this. Ian, <laughs> we're getting a first look at the Thor Motor Coach Sanctuary. Take it away, my friend. Power Man, Trish, you will not be disappointed with this beauty. This thing is either something that's straight out of A-Team or like my good friend Chris said, the zombie apocalypse machine right here, my man. This thing is on the diesel 4x4 chassis. It's lifted. It's ready to go anywhere you want to take it. But as we know, a good tour always starts on the inside. So let's take a look at the beauty. Now, if you're not familiar with a Class B, right, or a Class B van, what is it about the Class B that appeals to so many people, right? The, you might see the van life. Well, it's going to be a number of things, but one of them is just the ability to get anywhere you want to go. I mean, if, as I stand at, the, at this thing, I mean, take a look at how high just the initial step is, right? Like, it is lifted. If you're looking to take something and you want to go, you know, where tra the path that's a little less traveled, Traveled, right? This one right here will get you there. We're talking four by four. It has a low gear. I'll show you that in just a minute, but it will get you to that destination. And with the class B, it's going to be the easiest of the motorhome classes to drive. Now, don't get me wrong. I've driven just about everything and I love a good diesel pusher. You can drive it with two fingers, but this thing right here is just like driving your everyday vehicle. Now, as we take a step inside, right, we'll take a look at the, the cockpit to start. Uh, this one is on the new Mercedes chassis. Now, uh, a couple big upgrades here. One of them is going to be this central dash. Now, I don't currently have the coach on, but uh, it is an excellent dash. It has um, like a voice activation too. Uh, you can say, hey, Mercedes, and it pops on kind of like it would like a Siri, right? Uh, and it can, you know, use navigation right through that. Like, hey, Mercedes, take me to the nearest McDonald's. And, and it will do exactly what you want it to do. Um, so I do love some of those features. A ton of safety features on here as well. Uh, just, to, you know, for, for um, helping prevent any kind of collision, giving you some lane departure warnings, things like that. Uh, touch to start, which is something that, you know, I know it seems silly. We've seen it in automobiles forever, but really just hasn't made its way to the RV market until this newer Mercedes chassis. Plenty of cup holders here as well. We talked about four-wheel drive, and as I mentioned, you'll see that uh, located here. And then this little button is actually your low gear, so you will uh, hit that uh, to drop down into four-wheel low, uh, just to give you that extra torque if it is needed. Because this is the Mercedes, it is a diesel chassis, meaning you're going to get excellent fuel economy in here, and uh, you get the name behind it, right? If everyone knows a Mercedes, and I've had so many people, it, it always makes me laugh, uh, when they come to, to buy an RV and they, they end up getting a B-Van and they get the Mercedes and they go, you know, 
I've always said I wanted a Mercedes. I just never thought it was going to be an RV. But but that's what it is, right? That that name uh, means something, and you get the durability and the build that goes with that. Uh, another thing that I like, and it's kind of some of those minor touches sometimes, but they added in, you know, this nice kind of uh, woven carpet here at the floor. It just makes it feel a little more residential and a little less, uh, you know, like a like a Sprinter work van. So I do like that small touch uh, because this is a Class B van. Both these seats do swivel around as well, so you know if. If you want to, um, you know, this guy at least does. So if you want to utilize that, you can swivel it around and be able to, uh, you know, enjoy this. It's not cut off from the rest of the RV. You also have some storage spaces right up top there. Nice big windshield on here too. Uh, and something that's <laughs> actually really cool, this one, we'll, we'll get to it when we get outside, but there is a huge spotlight on this thing where if there's a zombie that, you know, is 300 feet away and you need to see it, You'll probably see it with the spotlight. But as we make our way in a little bit further, uh, one of the things I really love about this layout and this floor plan is this right here, right? I'm sitting here cooking. I'm, you know, washing dishes, doing whatever I'm doing, and I can enjoy the most beautiful view out the side. Because this is a Class B, it's so small. This thing is under 20 foot long. I can drive this uh, to, a, to a beach, open it up, and enjoy the view, and I can sit here you know, cook up some some bacon or a hamburger or whatever else I want to cook on here, whatever I'm in the mood for. Heck, if I want, I'll microwave some chips and cheese. I, I don't know. But the fact that I can sit here and just and really enjoy this view, I love. So I, I like that the door opens up right here and you get this countertop space. Now, there's a drop down table and some storage. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, but first, I just kind of want to round out the kitchen. Um, I'll open up the, uh, the Norcold fridge here for you. Uh, let me get my butt out of the way. So you can uh, take a peek in there and you can see that you have plenty of storage, drop down compartment right here for your little uh, freezer right up top there. But you know, pretty good size all in all. You'll see they do have a couple different floor plans. This is the 19P where you have the sofa in the back. If you want, you can also get one that's a fixed bed configuration. that will be more like a full size bed. Uh, if we drop down underneath the fridge, you can take a look and you will see some uh, easy, easily accessible components for any kind of uh, maintenance work that you have to do. Uh, one of the big ones will be your water pump. It's always a good thing to know where your water pump is, uh, whether it's for winterization or if it is for, uh, you know, just replacement. You'll see that is very easily accessible and you will see the water filter on there too, which I love that it comes with it. So again, you know, if you are somewhere where it may not have perfect water, which is in all honesty, more places than not, uh, that filter will certainly help. And then right up top, again, if I'm making chips and cheese, that's the place I'm going to do it. Nice big vent fan right up here to help get all those smells out. The bathroom, this is always one, especially if you're new to a Class B, people just may not fully understand. Um, and so let me kind of show you the bathroom in here. And this is very common in a lot of Class B vans as well as uh, truck campers or slide-in campers that go in the back of a pickup. And that's what they call a wet bath. And a wet bath is an all-in-one, right? It is your toilet. It is your shower. It is, in my mind, efficiency. <laughs> but that being said, um, you know, I'll, I'll take a seat in here just to kind of show you. So as you can see, it, it, it's not the biggest space ever. And then that's, that's not uncommon in a Class B. This is a, a very common space to have. But what I do like that they did is if you take a look right up top, you will see that the magnet, right, when this door is closed, closes right here. And you know, I'll kind of show you with this door, right? And that gives you a decent amount of space to be able to walk by. But if you're in here and you want a little more space, it actually locks open like that. And it just gives you that, that little extra bit. And when you're talking about wet baths like this and it is a smaller space, you know, just that like extra inch that you get really does make a difference and lets you maneuver a little bit easier. You also see a rod that's built in. So uh, a lot of people in a van may not use the shower. That again, not uncommon, but a lot of people will put up a rod for clothes and that's exactly what you have here. Uh, toilet of course is right down underneath me. You will see a medicine cabinet, a fan in there for obvious reasons drop down sink. You'll have the faucet that swings over and around. And then we have our hand wand here, which will actually rest right up there. And of course, the shower curtain that will go around if you do decide uh, that you want to take a shower in here. Now, as we move in a little bit further, we'll make our way to the back. Well, I guess I'll, I'll show you this. You do get the, the JBL um, Bluetooth speaker here. So 
You know, the cool thing about this too is you can take it outside if you want or you can leave it right there. You'll get your touchscreen panel. This is super easy to read as well as operate. You know, you can see all of your tank levels, uh, tank heaters, that's a big one. If you're looking to do a little bit of cold weather camping, I know that's uh, a question I get a lot on Class B vans because a lot of them just don't have the capability, but more and more people are starting to pick up on that, which is why they put the uh, tank heaters here in the sanctuary. But everything you need to access will be uh, right here at this panel, super simple. Um, if we look at uh, electric, uh, I guess it doesn't show it on here. Actually, I think there's a, the controller is down below, but this one does have a 190 watt solar panel on there as well. And the controller will be right at the entrance, right next to the battery disconnect. So you can see that uh, solar controller there. So if you are, you know, getting out, um, you know, you, you have the ability to recharge the battery. Dropping down, you'll see storage. Take a look at that. This right here is of course your sink top cover. Uh, you'll see the, the filter right there that it comes with, but excellent storage. For being a, a Class B, I mean, that's big storage right there. I absolutely love that they were able to fit all of that in. And as we make our way to the back here, um, see if I can, sorry about that. Let me get you here, Fritz, there you go, buddy. Uh, as we make our way to the back, you will see all the additional storage. So, you know, right here, uh, I probably can't get in there. It's, it's tough when you have two big people, as you know, my good friend Chris said. I mean, we basically have an NBA player in here. Uh, but you know, right over here is a wardrobe as well as an adjustable shelf. You'll see the Technoform cabinets that they have. I love the fact that it's kind of like a gloss up top, a mat down below, and it's curved, which really adds a lot of appeal. Hidden hinges right in there. You'll see there's a TV right over here. Uh, you have the side sofas and the the uh, rear sofa. And as I mentioned, this one does drop down into a bed. You'll also see roller shades here. And of course, more storage. I mean, you know, they did a really good job. Right up there is your Truma control. This one does have the Truma combi unit on it for um, your water heater as well as your furnace, really simplifying things. AC unit right up top, plenty of LED lights in here as well. But when we go to the outside, I mean, again, you know, I love the inside. I love that uh, you have the, the space, how bright it is. It really lets you get out. But where I think this thing really sets itself apart is out here, if nothing else, just purely on aesthetics. This thing just looks awesome. Um, but this is a drop-down table, if you so want. Also has electrical outlet and USB ports there. Little bit of storage right under here, if I can pop that one up. And you'll see that you have a net right underneath there. That nice big step, which helps you get into the RV again, because it is four by four chassis, and you will see that that is lifted. Right up top, you will notice the power awning. That is a Thule awning with an LED light there. Uh, this one also, speaking of Thule, you can see it right around the back. It also has the bike rack here and the ladder. So if I open up the back, if you do open it, please make sure you don't hit yourself with the bike rack. But as we open that up, you will see right back here is the uh, retractable ladder. So you can take that out, it actually has a magnet. Really neat thing about that is you can mount it basically anywhere on this uh, RV to be able to access anything up on the roof, which is pretty great. Right down underneath here, we have our hitch, 5,000 pound hitch. You'll see your seven way plug. So if you need to tow anything behind here, again, I've seen a lot of people with class B's that will tow another trailer behind them uh, because you know maybe the, the whole family wants to go camping. So they tow you know, like a small little travel trailer behind them, maybe something like that illumination that we saw earlier, you'd be able to tow it behind here no problem and be good to go. Coming around to the off camp side, again, you can see the lift on there and the nice off-road tires, super rugged. Absolutely love it. Uh, one of the cool things I want to show you, uh, well, adjustable seats, but come up to the front a second here. Let me show you this. Try not to get blinded, but I talked earlier about the spotlight. Take a look at that thing. Flip that guy on. It is super, oh, is it not on? Well, what did I do? All right, I must have turned the coach off, but there's a really bright spotlight up there too. Uh, just really, really helps this thing uh, really set the sanctuary apart. So if you're looking for a class B where, you know, it's not necessarily something that you're going to take from one side of the US to the other, even though you could, but if you're looking for something to do a little more off-roading, right? Looking to do an Alaska trip or looking to do something, just taking that uh, path less traveled, the sanctuary right here is an excellent one for you. But stick around folks, because in a little bit, my man Chris and I are gonna talk all about this beauty.
We're Wade and Abby. We love camping because it gets us outside and this is our playground. This is where we adventure. This is where we find inspiration. And this is what we love to do. It's a lifestyle for us. We're here! In, honey. We're out here in the beautiful Arizona desert getting off the beaten path. So here's some of our best tips and tricks for off-grid camping. Off-grid camping means you're gonna to wanna to have all your essentials and necessities with you because you're not gonna have your amenities close by. So you can never have too much water in the desert. Always make sure to top off the water supply before you hit the road. Now you may not have cell reception when you're out here, so that means you're gonna to wanna to have some analog mapping. Bring an atlas in the RV or even just download a digital map right to your phone. Oh, check this out. Make sure to fill up on gas before you head out and bring an extra gas can just in case. And you want to make sure you camp in areas where you can go play outside and do the things you love to do. Sunscreen is important anytime you're outside, but especially out here in the desert. So don't forget to use a high SPF and reapply often. Always make sure to bring the tools to swap out a flat tire and make sure your spare tire is in great shape. In case of emergency, it's important to have a satellite communication device, especially when you're off grid camping. Waterproof matches or a lighter are a must when you're out here to start a fire because when the sun goes down, it gets chilly. As a professional makeup artist, camping allows me to get out into nature and always re-inspires my creativity. It's the epicenter for adventure, and this here is a perfect base camp. Oh! Oh, rookie. Hey. Rookie mistake. Camping in an RV allows us to get out and experience something new and different on every trip. We're super stoked for the next adventure. <laughs> How amazing is that? Wow, looks yeah. good. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show, my man, the big dog, Ian Baker. Dude, what a great job on that Thor Sanctuary you just did. Yeah, that thing's cool. Um, like we talked about earlier, right? It's kind of, I feel like it's the zombie apocalypse machine. It, it I does. Mean, yeah, it's all blacked out, it's lifted, has the big old off-road tires. Yeah, it's got those 4x4 four four tires, yeah, some more clearance, and yeah. then that, that floodlight on top. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah, this is absolutely the A-team machine. Yes, uh-huh, I mean, it made me want to bust out a big chain and right? feel bad for Foolish people. <laughs> oh, see, and I was thinking you're going to be more Hannibal or Face. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, so tell me, what are your first impressions on that Thor Sanctuary 19P? What was, if you didn't know anything about it, yeah. and you walked up and you saw it, what would be the first gut reaction you had on it? Yeah, um, so, you know, right out, the, right out the gate, like, it's not like it's the um, newest floor plan ever, right? right? Like, you know, if you've seen Class B's, it's a very similar floor, or very familiar floor plan where you have the sofa in the back, kind of the jump seats off to the side, yeah. uh, you know, kitchen on the campsite. But what they executed very well for me was, A, uh, the aesthetic piece. I mean, I, okay. I think they absolutely nailed it. From the outside, uh, it's just a sharp-looking rig, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we start to get into, and something I, I didn't even touch on on the walkthrough, right? Um, but we started to talk about some of the electronics, and I, I touched on solar, but that one actually uh, has the option for the reliable uh, lithium system, which that one, the particular one I was walking through, did have. Right. Um, and, and then you start just seeing all the colors you know, on the interior as well. Right. It's clean, it's uh, effective, it's very well done. It doesn't look gaudy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, again, just from a, uh, an eye-catching perspective, I, I think they nailed it. You know, you, you mentioned the reliable system. Yeah. That is something, when you're talking about upgradable solar options, yeah. that that has come around, has come full circle just mm -hmm. in a matter of a year. So, I mean, are, are you seeing more units, you know, like this kind of going that way? Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and honestly, Chris, I think uh, the Class B is, is really what led the charge on solar in my mind. Um, you know, I've seen uh, total, like almost total solar-powered Class Bs. Uh, you know, two, three years ago right. uh, when, when uh, Road Trek North America was around, you know, yeah. they, they had some units where they were really forward on lithium technology. Right. Um, and, and, and they kind of led the charge. And now we start to see it in more travel trailers, more fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. But with that, uh, the sanctuary, right? I mean, 
even if you, even if you do nothing, it comes standard with that 190 watt solar panel. It's a nice little touch. Plus, yeah, plus the the thousand watt inverter on there. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, even if if you do nothing to it, you still have some inverted outlets, so you can be out there and run that 120. Right. But with that reliable system, uh, you know, now it's it's going to the, your your two uh, lithium batteries. Mm -hmm. It's bu uh, boosting you up to a 3,000 uh, watt inverter, um, and with, with that particular AC unit you can actually run the AC off that lithium system. Right. Um, with, that, some with some upgrades. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 with some upgrades. And, and, and that's one of those things that when we talk about uh, solar and battery power, you know, it's always been very tough to get there. The AC, you know, w uh, when the compressor kicks on it, it's just such a huge draw yes. that, that it's never really been a thing up until very recently. Yeah, and it's not the running, it's the starting. <laughs> it's the starting that, yes. that kills it. Absolutely. So, so as you're watching this Q&A session, we are live, Ultimate RV Show. If you do have some questions that you'd like for us to answer about this Thor Sanctuary, please use our social media platforms. You can also pop a question into the chat while you're watching the live stream. Uh, Julie just sent one in and wanted to know, uh, can you store things on top of this unit? Mm. I don't that, think so. That is a great question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did not get up there. I should have. Right. Um, so I know on, on some of the other uh, Thor B vans, right, especially mm. with that Thule ladder system they have, it is built very specifically for that so you can get up there uh, with the Thule rack system. Right. I don't want to say yes or no because right. I have not checked. Um, I know it's an option that can be added in, I, but yes. I think it's also going to limit the solar panel upgrade, avail you know, up upgrade availability. For sure, for yeah. sure, yes. Um, that would be one I'd have to check further into, but if it is like some of the others, like you say, it may be an option where you can get that Thule rack up there mm -hmm. uh, because it certainly wouldn't be the only product that, that is able to do that. Right. So when you went through it, uh, and I think I already know the answer to this one, what was your favorite feature inside the Sanctuary 19P? What do you think it was? I'm gonna say it's that floodlight up front. <laughs> say, if you said it was the bathroom, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm a big fella. That's Class right. B bathrooms are a little tough. A little for tight, me. yeah. Um, yeah, no, that you know, the floodlight is one of those things where it would probably, honestly, see minimal use realistically. Uh, but I just, I love it, right? It's yeah. one of those features that really just makes it stand apart um, from some of the other Class B vans that are out there. And I think again, it helps the aesthetic. And if you are you know, doing uh, some off-roading. Like, look, I, I grew up from in a small town, uh, you know, in, in northern Michigan, and off-roading was a big thing. Yep. Like, you know, in, I still have buddies to this day. Mm -hmm. uh, my good friend John, if you're watching, shout out to you, buddy. Um, <laughs> you know, we would, that's exactly what we would do. You know, we would go out with floodlights on trucks and, and head out there and have a good time. And this thing with four-wheel drive is actually capable of doing some two-tracking if that's what you're into, man. That was one of the questions that just came in. Is okay. this one good for off-roading and or boondocking? Which, that's two separate questions, yes. you know, locked into one. Yes, and, and my, my easy answer to that is yes. Um, you know, like we talked about. So with that, the 4 by 4 chassis, not only do you get, you know, the, the four-wheel drive, uh, both high and the low gear, you know, so if you do kind of get stuck or, you, you know, you need that extra torque to, to get you out of something, mm -hmm. uh, the 4 by 4 certainly helps there for the off-roading. The other big piece of that, though, is that the 4x4 chassis is automatically higher, right? Yes. Like, like, you know, you saw the step the to get in. Better. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You're getting better ground clearance, which really helps when you're doing any kind of off-roading. Mm -hmm. As far as boondocking, <clears throat> excuse me, yes, especially if you go with that lithium package, I mean, you know, you're getting that, that inverter, that 3,000 watt inverter, you can run pretty much anything you need to. With van life popularity, <coughs> you know, excuse me. especially nowadays, and so many people experiencing the RV lifestyle and, you know, being able to finally dip their toe into the RV waters uh, that have gone tent camping or van camping. I think this is the next logical step. So if you're used to that lifestyle and you're used to that type of boondocking, then this would be a great unit, especially to kind of upgrade <coughs> into that life. Um, and man, that, that chassis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it's, right it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, man. I, I, this smoke, I know, this smoke I know is getting we, me. We always get choked up when we're together. Yes. Oh, yeah. Chris. <laughs> it's so good to be back at the Ultimate RV Show, Ian. I'm so sorry I'm making you cry again. I promise I won't take the pasta plate. There Thank we you, go, sir. two points. Oh, man, hold on. <laughs> yeah, so um, that Ram Promaster chassis, that's on the 35, no, no, no. That was the other one. No, this is the diesel chassis. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes, this is the, the Mercedes diesel chassis. Um, mm -hmm. And, it, and kind of like I said, right, Mercedes just has an excellent reputation. Um, you know, super well known for making just absolute quality vehicles. Yes. And it, the same is to be said, especially, you know, if, if you 
are familiar with diesel versus gas engines, you know that it's just going to have the longevity there. Yeah. Um, and it has the drivability, right? Mm -hmm. so it's a smoother drive than some of the other gas uh, uh, chassis options. Um, and, you know, fuel economy, yes. right? Like, yes. th that's always, especially if you're doing a lot of travel, it's always something mm -hmm. that people ask me. And Class Bs are easy to drive, and that Mercedes chassis, excellent fuel economy. And the new additions they had with the new chassis are awesome. I mean, Plus, this is the just, safety. It looks sweet. Yeah. It just looks sweet. Okay, this question just came in. Raquel, thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, this unit looks so cool. Do you think it will fit me and my two pet hermit crabs? That's Raquel, if it does not fit your hermit crabs, I don't want to see them. They have to be monstrous. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank, thank you for asking that. Yes. That is, look, that is, uh, she's got to be kidding to me in some, some way, shape, or fashion. I, I love that. Uh, I would say, uh, how big is the bed in this unit? Uh, I'm over six feet tall, and okay. my wife is 5'4". Will we both be able to fit in it? 5'4", uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, six foot would, it, it depends on how much taller you are than six foot. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. Because, I mean, you're over six foot, I'm over six foot. Yes. And, and, and then, I, you know, we got Fritz, who's like seven foot eight. <laughs> right. So yes. He's over six yes. foot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. He was, he was in there, and I was, like, like looking up at him. Like, yeah, right <laughs> up there, buddy. Like, How are you getting in there? Um, yeah. Um, and I would have to check on, on this particular model. I know the, the fixed bed one is like a full-size bed, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually just, I think it's two inches short in both width and length. Okay. Um, I, to be honest, Chris, I did not measure uh, the bed. I didn't put it down and measure it. Mm -hmm. um, in, if you eyeballed it and... I, I, would, I would say if, if you are six foot to six one, six two, probably. How tall did you say he was? Uh, he just said over six feet. Yeah. I mean, if, you know, if you're seven five, it's not happening. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, if, realistically, if, if, you're, if, you're like, if you're like six four or taller, yeah. it, it's probably going to be a little bit of a struggle. But that's, that's again, any, any Class B van for the most part. Yeah. So, uh, once again, if you do have questions, please, you can use any of our social media platforms. You can also use the chat window during the live stream for the Ultimate RV Show to answer mm -hmm. your questions. And uh, Daniel Dratty just asked one, uh, what exactly is Class B? What does that mean? Yeah. So, um, the Class B is a slightly worse grade than an A. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's it's so, the grade I still never achieved in any grade of school. So um, the, the funny thing about motorhomes is you would think that they would, they would go like by size, right? Like yeah. Class A is a big bus, and that makes sense. Then you would think, oh, Class B is probably a little bit smaller, Class C a little bit smaller, but that's, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. uh, the Class B is going to be on your van chassis. So... Right. Um, your, as I said, Class A is going to be big bus. Class C, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll take a stripped van chassis. So it'll be the van portion up front, but then they will build the home on the back. Right. And most of your Class Cs will have some kind of bed or something over the cab, right? right. Uh, you know, kind of your classic, your classic motor home, if you will, is, is the Class C. The B, generally, they do very little to the exterior. Right. Uh, there are some that, you know, we'll, we'll put on some fiberglass walls and, and do a, a thing or two. Um, but most of them keep that outer shell right. in a Class B, and then they, they retrofit and they, you know, change everything yeah. inside. Maneuverability for me is one of the biggest keys for Class B. If, yes. if you are going to go in tight places, BLM yeah. land, stuff like that, you know, Class B is the way to go. 100%. Um, what separates this unit from others like it? I think you pretty much just, just kind of covered yeah, that. Yeah, so, yeah. so the, the Sprinter 4x4 chassis in its own right is fairly new, right? Mm -hmm. I, I believe it came out uh, like late last year. Mm -hmm. um, and so that automatically is, is a huge separator from right. you know, a, a lot of the other ones that are out there. Um, but again, just the, the, the design that they had to it, I think it's uh, just a very, I would call it a, almost aggressive design that they have in there. Right. Um, and, and I think that just absolutely nails it. Jace just asked this one, probably okay. the best question of the night. Oh boy, how quickly can I get this unit? Let me tell you, you can get this unit right now. The whole reason that we're doing the Ultimate RV Show is because we have these units, we have tens of thousands of units in our over 180 locations nationwide. Mm -hmm. You can get right now. Show absolutely. specialists are standing by. Absolutely. You want this sanctuary? You can get it from us right now. You want to go to the competition, you're going to have to wait eight months. Well, and, and that's, that's the thing, right, Chris, is, you know, most shows, you go and, and you're, you know, seeing stuff that is uh, 2021. Yeah, you know, it's been sitting on the lot. This, as yeah. we said, this stuff is fresh out of the factory. I mean, yeah. brand new. If, yeah. if you're going to wait eight months, 
Why not wait for something that's brand new? You're not going to get what you saw if you wait eight months. And that's why we're here in Indiana is because the manufacturers are right here. 80% of them are made right here. But Absolutely. dude, killer job on that Thor Sanctuary. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we got more with the Ultimate RV Show coming up next. I love you. Love you too, Papa. Don't miss you. Hey, honey, look what I got. A trigger fish. Don't settle for the trips you've always taken. There's a different way to travel. And RVing is the way to go. You can see new things. Oh. Travel to new places. Cheers. Seek new adventures. It's moving. All without leaving home behind. You're so fun. I know. <laughs> Travel different with Camping World.